Hi, my name is Dr. Daniel Cantor, and I'm the president of the Florida Society of Neurology and medical director of Neurologique, an organization dedicated to patient care, education, and research. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, affects more than 450,000 people in the United States and more than 2.5 million people globally. While we've made great advances in the last 20 years, there is a need for more non-mainstream research. It's difficult to find funding, both from the government sector as well as from the private sector. There have been advances in CCSVI, or chronic cerebrospinal venous it's a novel insufficiency, idea. multiple sclerosis. Then maybe it's not all about the immune system. It's also about the veins that drain your brain and your spinal cord. More research is needed, and that's what this grant application is all about. Low-dose naltrexone, or LDN, is important in multiple sclerosis, yet we have very few research trials that really can explore it. Part of the problem is funding, and we're looking for more funding, and the Pepsi Refresh Everything grant is a great way of us achieving this goal. LDN could help a lot of patients in the future. He says hearing stories about people like Lori Miles should be a call to arms to get more money to study the drug that right now no big pharmaceutical company is backing. I would like all of us to write to our congressman, ask the FDA and the NIH, the National Institute of Health, to fund more research about LDN. Cantor says first we need to prove LDN is safe, then that it really works. We really are working on how to make CCSVI and the liberation procedure a possibility. We're looking to move beyond just anecdotal evidence, beyond just the YouTube videos, and to really help us get strong research. We think that we need to do more with CCSVI. We think we need to show that it works, and we need to do that by having everybody receive the treatment. There's a great movement out there to have the treatment, and it's often very expensive, and it's experimental. So the idea is that everyone still receives the treatment, but that we follow you neurologically. These are important concepts for a non-mainstream multiple sclerosis research institute.